in the last lecture we learned about union types there we learned that we can specify multiple types for a variable which makes sure that only a value of those types can be assigned to it in the same way we also have a literal type using literal types we don't just tell what type of value we want to store in the variable but we tell exactly what value we want to store in a variable let's try to understand it with a practical example here if I go ahead and if I create a constant variable, let's say str and to this, if I assign hello world and if I hover over this str variable, you will notice that its type is the string value, hello world. Now internally, this hello world is nothing but a string value. But if we check the type of this str variable, it is not saying string. It is saying hello world, the value which we have assigned to this str variable. And this is what a literal type is. A literal type simply means the value which we have assigned to a variable, it will act as a type for that variable. In this case, the value which we have assigned to this str variable is hello world. So this hello world is the type for this str variable. And this is a literal type. If I create another variable using let keyword, let's say str2. And here also, if I assign a string value to it, maybe some string. And if I hover over this str2 variable, here the type is string. Here the type is not the value which we have assigned to it. Here the type is string. But in case of this str variable, the type is hello world, the value which we have assigned to it. And this is what is called as literal type. Using a literal type, we don't just tell what type of value we want to store in a variable, but we tell exactly what value we want to store in a variable. Let's try to understand literal type with another example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function and I'll simply call this function maybe role message. And this function is let's say going to take a role parameter and for now let's specify its type as string. Now inside this function I'm going to write a switch statement and to this switch we will pass the value in the role parameter and then we are going to write some cases. So case first is going to be admin. So if the case is admin, in that case, we want to return a message or let's say we want to log a message in the console saying that you have admin permission on this site. Okay, and then let's break from here. Then in the same way, let's add another case. This time, let's say the case is read. Again, we are going to write a console.log statement and there we will say you have read permission on this site. Again, let's break from here and let's write another case. And here, let's say permission is read write. So read hyphen write. In that case, we want to say you have read write permission on this site. Okay. And let's also break from here. Then I'll also add a default case. And for default case, we will simply say unknown user permission. All right. Now, when we are going to call this role message function, Let's call it here. In that case, we need to pass a value for this role parameter. So currently we can pass any string value. So if we pass admin, let's save the changes. Let's compile this app.ts file. And if we refresh the page, you will notice that it logs this message. You have admin permission on this site. If I pass some other string value let's say read write let's save the changes let's compile this app.ts file again and now it says you have read write permission on this site so it is working as expected if i pass any other value for example some random string like abc if we save the changes and if i compile this app.ts again you see it says unknown user permission so it is working as expected but what we want is when this function gets called for this role parameter, 
we only want user to either pass admin or read or read write no other string value should be allowed for this role parameter currently since we have specified its type as string we can pass any string value but for this role parameter we need a specific string value it can be either admin read or read write and that we can achieve using literal type so here what we can say is for this role parameter the type should be either admin so the value should be either admin then we will use this union then we will specify another value let's say read then we will use union and then read write so these are the only three values which we want to accept for this role parameter so here if i hover over this role parameter its type it does not say string as you can see it does not say its type is string instead its type is this okay and this is a literal type so this is basically a combination of literal type as well as union type so here we are using some literal values and then we are also using union type using this pipe symbol so now here you can see we already have an error if i try to pass abc we have an error because you can see the error message that abc is not assignable to parameter type and the type is admin union read union read write if i specify admin here in that case that value will be allowed but if i don't specify admin if i specify some other string value you see we have an error so a literal type basically tells what exact value we are going to accept for a variable or for a function parameter i hope the literal type is clear to you so let's pass admin here let's save the changes and let's compile this application and now you can see here we have this message you have admin permission on this site so it is working as expected okay now here we have taken an example of string values but we can also use number values or boolean values or any other type of value like null or undefined so it's not like only string values can be used as a literal type we can also use numeric value as a literal type all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day